One of Messenger's most surprising discoveries was the presence of water ice in permanently shadowed craters near Mercury's poles. These craters, shielded from the sun's relentless heat, act as cosmic cold traps preserving the ice for billions of years. The discovery of water ice on Mercury, a planet so close to the sun, has profound implications for our understanding of how water and other volatiles, essential ingredients for life as we know it, were distributed throughout the early solar system. Though small and seemingly insignificant compared to the solar system's giants, Mercury plays a crucial role in maintaining the delicate gravitational balance of our cosmic neighborhood. Its presence, along with the other inner planets, influences the orbits of asteroids and comets that venture into the inner solar system. These small icy bodies, remnants from the solar system's formation, can pose a threat to Earth if their orbits intersect our planet's path. Mercury's gravitational influence, though subtle, can nudge these objects onto slightly different trajectories, potentially steering them away from Earth or sending them on a collision course with the Sun. This intricate gravitational dance, played out over millions of years, highlights the interconnectedness of our solar system and the importance of understanding the roles that even the smallest players can have in shaping our cosmic destiny. Venus, the second planet from the Sun, is often called Earth's twin. Similar in size and mass to our own planet, Venus was once thought to be a lush and hospitable world, perhaps even harboring life. However, a closer look reveals a planet that is anything but Earth-like. Shrouded in a thick, toxic atmosphere, Venus is a scorching inferno, its surface hot enough to melt lead. Far from being a twin, Venus stands as a stark reminder of how different planetary evolution can be, even between seemingly similar worlds. Despite its inhospitable nature, Venus holds valuable lessons for understanding our own planet. Its thick atmosphere, composed primarily of carbon dioxide, traps heat from the sun, creating a runaway greenhouse effect that has driven surface temperatures to an average of 900 degrees Fahrenheit. The atmospheric pressure at the surface of Venus is 90 times that of Earth's, equivalent to being 3,000 feet beneath the ocean's surface. This crushing pressure, combined with the searing heat, makes Venus one of the most hostile environments in our solar system.